Hey guys, Sam here with my sister Claire Angela, and we're talking about MAC lipstick shades for dark skin tones. Now for your reference, I am an NW45 in MAC foundation. And I'm an NC45 in MAC foundation. Okay, so we're about to start, but before we begin, we just want to say that I know MAC makes colors that look great on a whole rainbow of complexions, but today I'm focusing on dark skin tones because I'm black. We do. <laughs> okay. Okay, so first we're gonna take off the lipstick we already have on so you can see the true shade. <laughs> so we're gonna go from lightest to darkest and here's the first lipstick. So the first lipstick that we're starting off with is Cherish and this is a satin finish. And I would describe Cherish as a nude, or at least it's a nude on, you know, our skin tone and it's got hints of peach and it's also kind of brown. So we'll start with this one. I'll go ahead, okay. put it on my lips here. And I should mention that we're putting all these lipsticks without liners, just so you can get a true sense of the actual color. But I, you know, I would recommend for any woman of color to always use a lip liner, especially with these nude, because it helps to add definition. So you can see this is what Cherish looks like on an NC45 skin tone with no liner. So now it's my turn. How does it look? Um, it's okay. It's not really my shape. It looks better on you, I think. Yeah? Yeah, so. I actually think it looks nice on you, but I would use it with like chestnut liners. Yeah, it would definitely need a liner for me. But it would actually be good. I think you should give it a try. I know you don't usually wear nudes, but yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, so our next color to try is Freckle Tone, and this is another nude shade. This is a luster finish, and um, it's a bit of a sheer nude and uh, quite moisturizing, so I'll go with this one. This is the color that is known for being really nice on a woman of color. So there we go. That's freckle tone. Hmm. Let's see. This is okay. I think I prefer the other one in terms of finish. Finish and, yeah. and like the yeah. Yeah. This one's okay. It's okay. It's because it's because Cherish is a satin. This one's a luster. Yeah. Um, it goes on. This one goes on a bit more evenly. But it's very similar colors. I think it looks nice. Okay, so our next shade to try on is called Fast Play. And this color is an amplified finish. And I would say that it's a uh, uh, pink, rosy, sort of with a bit of mauve and a bit of brown. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that is Fast Play. And I will go first. I like this one. I wear this one a lot. This is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites too. I've had this one for a little while. So the next one we're going to try is called Ravishing. And let's see how ravishing it is, actually. I've never tried this one before. Hmm. So it's a creme sheen. And how would you describe this? Um, I would say, oh, it's kind of a peach, uh, coral. coral. A coral. I would say it's a coral. And that's what finishes that again? Creme sheen. Cream sheen. Cream sheen. <laughs> it's being all fancy for nothing. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. You go. Okay. So this is ravishing on me. Yeah, I, I like it better on you, but let's see. Yeah, well, I mean, again, I think with on you, you just need to use a liner. That's all you need. A liner will take care of all of this. Okay, so the next color that we are going to wear, try on, is Burmese Kiss. And this is from the recent Baba Wan collection that came out last month. It's a, I would say, a hot pink electric coral. Ooh. Ooh. So let's give this one a try. Oops. One. Yeah, I like it too. It's good for the summertime. It is good for the summertime. Okay, so the next shade we're gonna try is called um, Victoriana, and this is the matte, and this is from the Toledo collection that came out at the end of February, early March. So we're gonna give this one a try. This is a red. And actually I would say it's like a strawberry red. Hmm. How's it going? 
nice, eh? Let's Okay, ooh. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to wear this in the summertime. Okay, mm -hmm. so the next shade we're gonna try on is called Damn Glamorous, and this is a matte finish. We're gonna give this one a try. All right, here we go. Yeah. I really like this one. It's kind of similar to the one we just tried, but that one was a special edition anyway, right? Yeah. So, so there you go. So if you can't get Toledo, you can get damn glamorous. All right. Okay. The next shade that we're going to try is the notorious or famous, famous Ruby Woo, which is a retro matte lipstick, as I'm sure most of you know. My go-to. It's her jam. I'm a Ruby Woo girl, but I do own Ruby, Ruby Woo as well. I actually put lip balm on before I put on this one because the retro matte, it's very dry and kind of hard to move around my lips, so. And I usually wear it with a lip liner. I usually pair it with Max Cherry Liner just because I find red lips, you know, you need a little bit of definition to keep everything in place. Yeah. So. Ruby Woo. Okay, so our next lipstick shade is another matte, a very popular one. It's a purple called Heroin. For the hero, a female hero, and not yeah, the let's, drug. Let's just be clear. Okay. So this one is, yeah, I would say this one is a mid-toned purple, but it's kind of an electrified purple, as you can tell. It's got a fair bit of blue in it. It's not for the faint of heart, but it's really, really pretty. Highly recommend. This is heroin. Bold. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. So our next shade to try is another purple shade. This one is Up the Amp, and this one is an amplified finish. Um, it's a little bit lighter than heroin, so we'll give uh, Up the Amp a try. So I like the shade too. We kind of cool in the spring or summertime. I prefer heroin in this color family, but this is nice. Yeah, I like it. I haven't worn it that many times, but I have so many and that's why. It's a great shade. Mm -hmm. Up the amp. So the next lipstick we're gonna try, we're gonna switch it up, is um, Verve. And this is the satin finish. And this is brown. I'd say this is definitely brown with... Mm. Brownish. It's brown. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, so I describe this as like a dark brown, mauve, nudie color. It's nice. It's kind of, you know, folly, wintry. It's kind of like, I hate to say this, but everyone knows the Kylie Jenner look oh, for darker skin and also a little bit maybe creamier okay. than that. Don't but it's say very. That. <laughs> it's very. It's a very lovely color. It's nice. It's nice. I would say it's more of a full winter color. I'm ready to move on to brighter colors, but this is a very good one. Very comfy on the lips. Mm -hmm. The next shade we're going to be trying on is Diva. It's a matte. I think everybody knows Diva. It's a reddish brown, very rich, deep wine, I would say, actually. Mm -hmm. I like wine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this color is, I would say, really great, again, for fall, winter. I mean, really, you can wear colors any time of year, dark colors any time of year, but yeah, this is definitely a fall, winter shade. It's so nice, though. It's, it's rich. It's rich. It's nice. So the next one to try on is called Phil Noir, and this is a satin. And I would say this is a, it's a, it's just a deep brown with a bit of red in it, but it's pretty deep uh, toned brown. Very deep. Quite deep. So that's Film Noir, like I said, it's a, I guess it's a glossy brown. It's deeper than photo, for those of you who know photo. Um, but yeah, this is it. Yeah, this isn't my personal favorite. I'm not really a fan of this deep of brown, but it's nice, it's definitely nice. It looks, it looks good, but I just don't care for it, but it would look good on somebody who has the same skin tone as me. And the last shade that we're gonna try on is a Living Legend. This is a matte shade. I'd say it's actually a deeper version of Diva. Yeah. Like if you were to add a little bit of brown and blue, but not blue. Just a very deep shade. It's really nice. I really love this one. Without further ado...
It's really nice. I really love this one. So out of the darker brown ones, I'd say this one is my favorite. I'm not really into the darker colors, and it does look a little vampirish, I'd say, but that's not a bad thing. Sometimes vampires are good looking, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys got something out of seeing how all these MAC lipsticks look on darker skin tones. And if you want to read more about MAC makeup, as well as all sorts of different types of makeup, check out her blog. It's called beautypixels.ca. I'll put a link to it below, as well as a link to her Instagram page, all right? So I'll see you guys later here on Icy Melanie. Bye. Bye.